Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Goddard and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by their six-foot-four quarterback, the former number one overall pick in 2015, Jameis Winston. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down, Winston. And Graham's got it over the middle. The numbers in last week's game for Graham, he was no doubt a key piece to their puzzle in that victory. And when this offense plays well, you just know he's going to be in the middle of everything, don't you? I mean, defense is going to say, we've got to take this guy away. He doesn't allow himself to be taken away, does he? And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Winston, and he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Wesley Woodyard coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage ready. definitely goes to the defensive player. Here's Winston. And able to find Graham, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play call, and you go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Tackle there by Clay Matthews. A look now at the Miami offense. 
Samaj P. Ryan had 51 total touchdowns in his three years at Oklahoma, but only hit pay dirt one time in 2017, partly due to his inability to hold on to the football at times, so it cut down on the number of carries he would get. But he's built well, strong, sturdy runner. I think he's got a bright future if he handles ball security. Jameis to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. They're able to find Dawson. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. That throw is not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. A quick look here at the Patriot defense. Emerging as an anchor in the linebacking core is Carl Lawson, who went in the fourth round out of Auburn and gave them eight sacks as a rookie. Have to say that for most people, they would call that a steal. How did he get it done, though? Speed, power, ability to see plays happen and make sure he's in the right spot. They get it to him running left, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal will feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Kick here is good. And the opening drive for the Dolphins yields three. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It sounds like you're going negative on that. I was. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. You got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Here's second and seven now from the 28. On second down, here's Henry. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 22 carries, 78 yards. And we all know he had a big workload last week, so I'm eager to see if they decide to back him off a little bit. Personally, I hand it to him 20 plus times again. When a running back's locked in like he is, I want him to keep touching the football. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41 yard line. And let's run through the Dolphins defense. When you're the number six pick overall in the NFL draft, Big things are expected out of you. And finally, Morris Claiborne is starting to deliver on some of that promise. Played 15 games in 2017, the most he'd played since his rookie year, and had his best season to date. Ability to cover, ability to tackle, all the things we saw coming out in the draft in 2012, we're now seeing on the field. Derrick Henry, and he's gonna take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. 
Now the former Oregon man. This is Kenyon Barner. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Picked up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. First down carry for Henry. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, you guys didn't come out of the gate. I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, to I want offer it. mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Nice little nifty play for them there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Hunter Henry, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. This is fielded with the chalk of the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. On second down, here's Crowell. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It was Taven Bryan who got him down defensively. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. They've got it third and ten here to start things out. Play fake, Winston. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Now a play fake here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. He is tough to bring down Jameis Winston. Yeah, Charles, I remember calling a baseball game of his. He played baseball at Florida State, too, and you saw his legs, tree trunks, sprayed in to those baseball pants. I said, how could anybody bring this guy down? And that's part of the... And Winston lost the football. But I think Adolphin was able to fall on it. Yes, they'll keep possession here. 
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Ready. Blue lady. Now a handoff to Crowell. And an alley to run. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 12 yards is the pick up there. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass in order to try and pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to pump the ball. They've done so with that first run. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up, back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle? Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. You got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. It will be a two-yard gain, and that's going to bring up the fourth down. Then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because they tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion, but you have to know where the sticks are on third down. Didn't get beyond them, no pickup. It's P. Ryan to begin the drive, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. You got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Smith catches left side. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Over the middle, the Garcon. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, I find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. They go play action here on first down. And this is going to be incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Here's a give to Crowell. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. The tackle there by Quandry Diggs. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. And Winston lost the football. Here's Shane Leckler now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. 
Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow here on the goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Normally we're talking about quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. Nathan Shepard in there to make the tackle. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They got to feel pretty good about that one. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. All right, it's football 101 to know that the quarterback controls just about everything on offense. But a lot of times what gets missed is that the center controls line play. He has to communicate to the guards and the tackles what type of front they're facing, how they're going to block it, and what adjustments need to be made sometimes on the fly as a defense will shift. Give the center a lot of credit because for the most part, he's got a big defensive lineman over his face all game long. He's got to try and block it. And this is caught inside the five. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. As his guys are in for six, and the Patriots add six to their lead. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out and feel charged up and ready to go. Dawson tacks on the point after, and that will get him one closer. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. On play action, Winston. And that'll be incomplete. Isaiah Crowell, the intended target, and it's second down. But not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Over the middle to Smith. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. A nice gain of 21 yards. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him. And the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And that was a heck of a shot right there by Jameis Winston. Boy, he has a superior right arm, doesn't he? You saw him play baseball. Yeah, he's actually a switch hitter in baseball. Outfielder and, of course, a very hard-throwing pitcher. That's translated well in the National Football League. That it has. When he has to make that throw on a line, he's got plenty of arm to do it. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. From the red zone now, Winston. A screen complete to Crowell. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Only three there on the screen at second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Now it's Hines. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Ready. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. 
Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. After the sack, here, second and 11. From the gun, here's Watson. And this one complete right side to Funches. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Offense. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Third and two, Watson. And it's complete, Kinley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A couple of big plays in succession there for the Pats. They're on the move. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out with a shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Watson on first down. He will find Davis on the left side complete. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Again, it's Watson. Well, the stop will come inside the five at the four. Second and goal from inside the five. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Set to return now. Here's Deontay Thompson. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, that's the desired outcome coming out here in the second half of being able to run the football and establish a little bit of pace and maybe even a bit of dominance at the line of scrimmage. And they want that to continue. Way too early to think about this being ball control time. But the way they're running it, you got to think they may want to continue that and see if they can go ahead and grind their opponents into submission. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. And a hookup over the middle to Pryor. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That throw good for four. It's second down. 
Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. They keep it with Henry on first down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play. Blitz coming, and down he goes. They get the sack on the blitz, but it was third and in inches. Are you surprised like I am they weren't running the football there? I'm right there with you. I would have thought it worst. Quarterback sneak, try and pick up the first down and move on. But instead, I think they thought they could catch him by surprise and maybe hit something deep. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. They begin with a run by Crowell. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Patriots take over. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first down, it's Watson. Over the middle complete. That's Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Seven yards, the pick up on the pitch and catch. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Now a handoff to Henry. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. 
Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They'll run it now with Barner. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start, offense. So that'll back him up five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. After the penalty, it's Henry. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? A bullet throw, but incomplete. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a high nice score. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. First down carry now for Crowell. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands so they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. And that is incomplete. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. They begin with Henry, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab, get closer, and smother it, just as they did on that last play? And that is going to do it for this third quarter. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. On second down, here's Watson, and that is incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree 
as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Here's Watson. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door jar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. It's a loss of two, now third down. The Dolphins on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and four. Ready, black 22. From the gun, Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Now a first down throw. Watson. Player has it complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Gun. Watson goes underneath for Henry. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. His throw incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and that'll bring up second down. Sometimes it looks pretty simple, batting the ball away, but oftentimes there's some pretty good teaching and practice that goes into it. Being able to get to the receiver, not the Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Man tie tail. Leading the surge there, he drops him for a loss of six. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10. So now from a defensive perspective, they might still have a pulse. Yeah, that probably would have sealed their fate, but now they're still within two scores. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Smith. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. The first down throw for Winston. And left side here, it's Graham. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Working out of the gun, Winston. Left side, Williams. And he gets it down to the 32. That catch good for five. It's third down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. 
And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And that was a really nice play. He was able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brian Arakpo in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Okay, we've seen plenty of games. We've been there before. They thought they had this one over with. If they could have stopped them right there on that down, now they've got to continue to play. That's going to be tough. Offense. That's tough because it was such great coverage. They had them blanketed, especially there in the secondary, but hey, took off and found a way. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. He'll get it up the middle. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little Buster early. offense. And that'll set him back five. A bad time for a full start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. And all will be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And that'll bring up second down. Green to nine. Green to nine. On second and ten, Watson. And that's incomplete. I had a coach tell me a long time ago that running a screen pass is similar to acting 101 for your offense because you got to show something different and create extra space for linemen to chase the quarterback in order to create extra room for the receiver to catch the football and maneuver up field. In this case, they'll give a lot of credit to the defense. They communicated well. You could hear them talking to each other on the field, and they reacted and knocked it away. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And take it right on the 30. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Ready. Flat 22. They'll run it now out of the gun. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window. They've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. Going underneath for Crowell. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. That play was well covered, just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to ready, find any yardage on that one. Third and long for Winston. Going left side here, and it's complete. 
And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Adam Gase rolls the dice. It doesn't pan out. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score game still. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Oh, and now he bowls him up. Derrick Henry all alone. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Derrick Henry, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the forced fumble defensively leads to six points for the Patriots. Dawson able to connect on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. To return, here's Agnew. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And we shift our focus to Isaiah Crowell. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front, combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half. Isaiah Crowell, he's on. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 48 yards on the ground. Got on first and 10, Winston. This is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And a nice gain of 21 yards. What is that? Winston. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Pierre Garçon, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They're in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Winston, Smith catches left side. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Winston now to throw on first down. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. When we start looking for big-time corners, we're going to start with athleticism. But without technique, you're not going to make plays as one we just saw there. On third down, Winston. And that's incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. 
false start offense. So pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better pass rushers in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. Fighting through. He's going to let it fly. And it will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Ten, black 22. Black. And they will take a knee here. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Ready, blue lady. One last shot now for Winston. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. A run win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. And you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Patriots, their very slim playoff hopes remain as they move to 6-7 six and seven on the year. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, it's a potentially fatal blow to their playoff chances as they drop to 6-7 and seven on the year. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.